good evening. So today again I'm with my very dear, very beautiful, very intelligent friend Ebru. Thank you Ebru for joining me again. It's a pleasure. So uh, a few days ago I was talking to one of my very dear friends. He's an American. And uh, he told me I have very beautiful, very intelligent, very um, good looking ladies around me. And they're all very smart. So he said this cannot be a coincidence. And uh, he knows I'm a very religious person and he knows all my friends, many of my friends are religious. So uh, he asked me a question and I was quite surprised at his question. So I wanted to share this with you. He told me uh, this cannot be coincidence that, that all my friends are very intelligent and beautiful and good looking. Uh, he said, it's not about your religion, right? Uh, actually, it's, it is about my religion, because if you are a Muslim, it's an obligation for you to know about science, to educate yourself, to wear very clean clothes, to be clean and to eat clean. So, if you are a Muslim, you should be this way. It's an obligation. Of course, also the mindset of a uh, Muslim should be very clean. We understand this from the verses of the Quran. Uh, some people have a hard time to believe that we are Muslims, they're surprised that we are modern, well-educated, good-looking, high-class people. This vision totally contradicts uh, with what the biggest practice is, yeah. Islam. Uh, many people in the world suppose uh, the beliefs and practices of bigots as the real Islam. Yeah. This image has been purposely planted uh, to the minds of people and uh, they are trying to plant seeds of hatred against Islam. Mm -hmm. Especially some bigots are purposely supported by foreign intelligent agencies to keep people away from Islam and to justify their actions against, uh, to justify the actions taken against some underdeveloped Islamic countries. However, the truth about Islam is totally different. Islam is far beyond what we could mm -hmm. try to publicize. That's why many people had a shock to see that we're Muslims. In the essence of pure Islam, uh, Muslims should be very modern, mm -hmm. very clean, very well-groomed, very chic very literate, very well educated and powerful people. All these attributes come from Islam and our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the most modern people of his era. Right. And if he were to live in our time, no doubt, he would be the most modern, most intelligent, most literate man today. And the most handsome one, and the most good looking one. Right? You're right. So uh, I also want to add something. Uh, as a Muslim, you have to know, know about science. and. You have to do something to improve the society. You cannot just sit at home and do nothing. Uh, and in a verse, Allah says, I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed Satan. Allah says, only those with uh, knowledge have fear of Allah. And uh, if I need to explain the fear of God here, I should say, it's not a very prim it's not a primitive fear. It's a very beautiful fear and it stems from losing the love of God. Yes, it makes you do the right thing, live the uh, right kind of life. Yeah, you're right. So it's uh, a good thing. It's a good to thing. have yes. fear of Allah. Uh, it's not something which upsets you. So it's not a negative feeling, it's a very positive feeling. So uh, according to this verse, you should know about science, you should educate yourself. For example, you're walking in the street and you see a very beautiful flower. And how can you appreciate the a uh, miraculous cre creation in that flower, you should know about biology, right? You should know about uh, the photosynthesis that flower is doing there. Uh, without it, you cannot ex uh, appreciate the creation in it. So, uh, in, an in other words, Allah says, don't you look at the skies and how I created them. How, how can you look at the skies? You have to use a telescope. telescope. So, uh, in order to interpret the data, you should know about astronomy. And uh, in, in other words, Allah says, uh, I created universe from nothing. So this is Big Bang. Uh, how do you understand Big Bang? You should know about physics to understand Big Bang. And in many verses in Quran and in many places, Allah explains the relativity in time. And if you want to understand relativity in time, you should also know about quantum physics. Of course. I totally agree. A Muslim mm -hmm. should be well educated to know all these advancements in science and should make research and find mm -hmm. out the truth. This is the prerequisite for one to believe in uh, God, because without uh, these knowledge, people cannot properly understand the might of our Creator. Uh, I'll read some verses from the Quran, okay. uh, but before I'd like to make uh, one point clear. Our Creator is one, and religion in the sight of God is one. God revealed Judaism and Christianity, and then Islam to confirm the truth within them. So God orders Muslims to believe in uh, all the prophets and all the holy scriptures, 
review to them. Muslim cannot be a Muslim without believing in them. Yeah. So even we have some different practices on the basis, we have the same morals uh, God commands us. And if uh, one leave his prejudices aside and really want to know pure Islam, mm -hmm. he will see that this is the kind of life uh, in society he's longing for. Yeah. Muslims have the finest taste in every aspect of life. They eat the most desirable mm -hmm. food. They wear the most desirable uh, Clothes, and clean clothes, yeah. they have the most beautiful houses with uh, excellent decoration. The best they, they can afford. Of yeah. course. They look beautiful, they smell beautiful, mm -hmm. they have a fine taste in all kinds of art. Now, explain that with the verses of the Quran. Uh, I seek refuge in Allah from uh, the accursed Satan in Surah 74, verse 4 and 5. Mm -hmm. uh, God says, Purify your clothes, shun all filth. What does that mean, Jayla? It means you should wear clean clothes and you shouldn't look like a Feels the bigot. Yes, you should avoid uncleanness. Yeah. And in uh, Surah 2, uh, verse 125, God says, Purify my house for who circle it. Mm -hmm. So uh, the houses should be very clean too. In Surah 3, verse 7, uh, God says, Those firmly rooted in knowledge say, We believe in it, all of it is from our Lord, mm -hmm. but only people of intelligence pay heed. So you should use your intellect. Of course, you should be intellectual, you should be wise, and you should uh, just uh, understand your environment mm -hmm. with this intellect. And so in Surah 23, verse uh, 51, uh, God says, Children of Adam, we find clothing in every mosque and eat and drink. What does that mean? When Allah says, wear fine clothing, you should wear the finest you can find. Of course, you, you should eat the finest. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should be very uh, clean, yeah, very clean. clean. And, and good looking. Uh, of yeah. course, and the following verse, uh, God says, Say who has forbidden the fine clothing Allah has produced for his slaves, and the good kinds of provision. So this is very obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, no one uh, can forbid uh, the fine clothing right. to us. This is created for Muslims, this is created for uh, believers the fine clothing and also good kinds of provision mm -hmm. and these are uh, all created for them uh, in this life of the mm -hmm. world uh, and they will be exclusively uh, in the hereafter for them mm -hmm. uh, because the following uh, part of the verse uh, Allah says uh, on the day of resurrection such things will be exclusively for those who had uh, who believed during their life in this world so, this so in is this for world, this life, in this world, Muslims should wear the finest mm -hmm. clothing, should eat the finest things, and should live the finest life. Mm -hmm. And in the hereafter, it's also exclusively it, for them. For, for the believers, it, God will create mm -hmm. uh, those uh, exclusively for the believers. And uh, this is the lifestyle uh, God orders us to live. This is pure Islam. And other practice which makes a huge discomfort in the society is not Islam, it's bigotry. We can talk on this subject later uh, with you, Jaylan. Of course, we can also make a video too. Of course. Uh, what do you think about politics? Uh, politics is also a social science. So, uh, according to Islam, if you're a Muslim, then uh, the world is entrusted to you. Then you should make a change in the world, you should make it a better place. And you cannot just sit at home, eat, drink and sleep. You should really do something. So, uh, how do you do something to change the world? You should use politics, you should know about politics. You should know about strategies. You can be. You should be able to develop new strategies, and you should know about the uh, ideologies. Economics. So, yeah, you should know about economics. It's very important, and you should know about history in detail, and you should know about geography. So uh, without this, you cannot make a change in the world. Uh, of course. And uh, I also want to add something very important here. And if you're a Muslim, you should accept Quran as a whole. You cannot just accept one part and uh, avoid or deny another. So, uh, these, what you just stated, are orders of Allah. So, if a person is not practicing this, then he is not practicing real Islam, or yes, he is not is practicing that part of Islam. Yes, this is something like uh, five times prayer mm -hmm. a day. If you don't use your intellect, mm -hmm. if you don't uh, follow the advancements in science, if you don't uh, learn, educate yourself, then you are not uh, practicing, practicing that part of real uh, Islam. Yeah. So, uh, if that person is not uh, knowledgeable, he's not educated, and it's his fault, it's not Islam's fault. Of course, and he also you're responsible for other people too, they're entrusted to Muslims, and the Muslims should be wise enough to care mm -hmm. and protect for others. 
Uh, so this is basically how a Muslim should live. I hope this video is enlightening for everyone yeah, about Islam. Too. Thank you for watching us. Thank you.